friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee and I have got a horrifically busy day today in my kitchen. Um, I have got my local butcher had chicken on sale. So I've got 80 pounds of chicken and I am going to can every bit of it up because I cannot fit it in my freezer, but I cannot pass up this sale. I'm going to show you the hot pack method to can this. I want the skin and everything on it because it's going to make a beautiful, beautiful broth, too. So, all the tails and the skin and everything staying on this, we'll take it all off. There won't be any skin or bones or any schmutz or anything that's going to go into our canned chicken. So, this will be wonderful. Now, we'll probably have a couple of these pots going. So we can get this all cooked down and then get it deboned and packed in the jars. I kind of figured my can my um, big stock pot would hold about 20 pounds of chicken. All right. Now the rest is going to go in my refrigerator and I'll pull it out as we cook it. Okay, friends, I have got 30 pounds of chicken in each of these pants. That is my pressure canner. It works perfect. Anyway, so I've got 30 pounds or 60 pounds on the stove top, and I am also roasting 20 pounds in the oven. So when this is almost done, because you only want to cook it two-thirds of the way done, I'll bring you back and I'll show you just what we're going to do. Okay, friends, I've got all this chicken. I already deboned one entire pot and I laid all this out on this big tray so that it would cool off enough for me to be able to debone it and then um, I'm just going to put it in a big dish we've been storing it in the fridge as we go and then once we get it all deboned we're going to fill our jars and get it canned up so this is real easy with this you just get your clean hands in here and you get them dirty <laughs> Now that we've got our chicken all cooked, deboned, and in the jars, we're ready to finish it up. So we're going to go ahead, and we're using broth. We made beautiful broth for this. Fill them to an inch and a quarter head space. That's just, just below the neck. Debubble them. Wipe the rim real good because it's greasy and I've got vinegar. Put the lid on. Put the ring on finger tight. And in the, in the canner it goes. Now I'm going to finish all these up and I'll bring you back. Okay friends, so I got this last little bit to pull out of my canner. And then these are done. And we got 
Look at how nice they turned out. They're absolutely beautiful. What a lovely addition to your pantry. Now, personally, I prefer the raw pack method, but because this was dark meat, we didn't want to can the, the uh, leg quarters. We just cooked it and, you know, deboned it and packed our jars and made some nice broth for it. So this will be a lovely addition to the pantry. And that, friends, was 80 pounds of chicken. And that's the process to hot pack your jars. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching.